Hey everybody! Hello from Florida! We're taking the winter off. Just kidding. So, it did snow, as everybody around here knows. So that's what the orchard's looking like right now. From the deck of the house. So I figured, uh, people always ask, hey, what about the snow? What about the cold? What happens to the trees? What's going on? Don't you guys go to Florida for the winter? So I figured we'd get an update from my dad and talk about what's going on and why we can't go to Florida. <laughs> All right, so he suggested we not go outside and I agreed. All right, so why can't we go to Florida? <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a 12 month of job. <laughs> Ruining for six months, and then we're taking care of it, spraying the trees, and thinning the trees, and taking care of them, irrigating if necessary, uh, fertilizer the whole bit, and um, then the three months of harvest. There's never a day off. Here we go, right into winter, and we get a lot of pruning to do. It adds up to almost six months of work, off and on. Of course, the weather can mess up our schedule something terrible uh, a good batch of snow on top of the orchard is a good thing uh, we don't need this quite this much six six to eight would be good and what it does is insulate the roots from extreme temperatures that we can have on some nights um, like tonight it's supposed to be five like you know, everybody thinks of the top of the tree suffering in those nights. Well, the roots are suffering too. They're not used to this huge uh, variation in temperature we have during the year. The bad thing about a lot of snow is it makes it really hard to get around the orchard. You have to walk around the trees to prune them and uh, climb a carry ladder around the tree to prune the top. And it's it's tiring. It just wears you out, especially when you're on a we're on a side hill. And doing a little slipping and sliding all day long, it wears your, uh, wears your body out. It's pretty dismal out there most uh, days, but on a nice sunny day like today, the, uh, the sun coming through the snow and the ice on the trees, it's pretty spectacular. And you better wear your sunscreen, because I've seen the guys come in with sunburns in the middle of winter. We get a lot of, ref a lot of sun reflection off the sun, it can give you a nice burn, believe it or not. Yes, exactly. Uh, and how are the how do the peach trees fare in the winter? The peach trees, you know, are shallow, shallow rooted uh, beast, and they uh, they really suffer when they go down into the maybe 10, 10 below zero area. The roots are going to suffer because they they're not way down deep in the soil. So the buds, of course, on a peach tree. It's um, the original peach trees came from China. They're subtropical. Uh, climate where they came from and we've been breeding them for 500 years to make them able to survive and fruit in, in, uh, in a moderate temperature temperate area like ours where we don't have too many extremes if you take peaches down below 30 degrees minus 30 you're probably not going to have a peach orchard that year it'll probably kill the trees so it's, we get into danger at that Apple trees can go down to 30 below, but you're, you're, you might have some problems below that. So it's, uh, it's scary as usual on some, some days of the year. That's Mother Nature having, having a good time with us. <laughs> uh, the tree slowly goes dormant in November, and by, by now, or middle of September, December, thereabouts, the, uh, they're really hardened up. That's, that's the word you use, hardened up. They're soft before dormant, they're hard after dormant. They can take a lot of cold weather, but they do not like to go from a nice, sunny Indian summer day of 60, 70 degrees and then drop down to uh, 10 or zero the next night. That, that's an entirely different thing, and, it, and it, the trees literally split in half because they're shrinking so fast to make up for the temperature and the uh, it, it can really hurt really damage young trees if they're uh, not acclimated yet and what if it's not cold enough uh, why can't we why can't we grow apples in Florida of 
Okay, here's the whole problem with the, here's the good thing about apples. Everybody can't grow them. <laughs> we can't grow oranges. Well, that's a good thing for Florida, and, it, and Florida can't grow apples, and that's a good thing for us. And, and Georgia has a hard time growing apples up, up in the mountains. Evidently, they've just found a couple of apples that they can grow in Florida, but you, believe me, you won't like them. <laughs> they're, gonna be, they're, gonna, their only redeeming characteristic will be the fact that they're apples. <laughs> This is why we send so many apples down to our, our people who left New York and went down to Florida. So they call us up, I can't get a decent apple down here. So we send a lot of gift packs down to Florida. Believe me, no, nobody lives in the Hudson Valley, born here, raised here. Nobody, no one appreciates what they've got in the apple industry here after they go to Florida. Then they find out the whole world does not have all kinds of apples for them every day of the year, either <laughs> on the tree or at our road stand. Um, um, if anybody a, has any questions, I see a bunch of people are watching. Let right. me know. Yeah, another thing people ask me, if there's a heavy snowfall, will it hurt the trees? Well, that's not too smart a question because we obviously have to build the tree, prune the tree, to make a structure that can carry um, a 16, 18 foot tree, it's uh, 20 years old, that's got to carry a load of 800 pounds of apples, so I don't see how any amount of snow is going to hurt it. And the same tree is built for structure, it's built for taking heavy winds, and uh, most of the winds we can handle except uh, in a uh, hurricane, we might lose some trees. We actually just came across a Crispin. How big was that Crispin? Was it over two pounds? Yeah. We had one apple that was over two pounds. That's insane that the tree could hang on to that apple on the little stem. So that was fun. You might say right. the trees use the winter to get a rest. Uh, however, to be a functioning apple tree, it must be dormant in the choice of things. Um, it's pretty hard to grow apples below North Carolina even in Carolina, you have to be up in the mountains. In Georgia, you definitely got to be up on a, on a mountain to, to get enough time. And the dormant thing isn't just a couple of days below 30 or something. The, the book says that you uh, apple trees have to be below 45 degrees, ranging from trees that only need 500 hours at that, 500 hours below 45 degrees up to trees that need a thousand hours of uh, temperatures below 45. So there's there's quite a variation and some of these trees that don't need uh, a lot of time, like the, something below 500, they may be able to grow and they'll grow fine in Virginia, but North Carolina, you're pushing it. Yeah, you can't uh, get a good Mac down south, I guess. We are right here in Orange County, we're about as far south as you want to go to grow max. They just don't have a chance for the heat. They don't like heat. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so those are called chill hours. So that's a fun um, chilling hours, right. homology uh, terminology for you guys. I know you guys are into this. <laughs> what did we learn last time? I'm trying to remember. Uh, the, amount of, the amount of gas inside an apple or something like that. Anyway. anyway um, if it's snowing and you're worried about whether we're open, we're open. I don't care how bad the snow is, and I haven't seen the snow yet that I couldn't plow out of here by 9.30, so you come right on down. Don't worry about getting here and finding yourself stuck. This is going to happen. And if for some reason we're not over there, just honk the horn. We'll come over. <laughs> but we were open all day yesterday. We had 23 customers. Wow. 23 brave souls on yesterday's storm. <laughs> All right, so that's it for us. Give you another shot of the orchard here. Transition to this super, super bright, sunshiny snow day. If you have any questions, let us know. Give us some thumbs up. Give us some love. Come see us. Lots of great gift ideas here. Uh, gift baskets. Um, if you want to send a gift pack, you might have missed your deadline. If it's, if it's not too far, we can send it out on Monday. So let us know ASAP. All right, everybody, over and out for now. Take care.